welcome back it's Evelyn in today's video we're going to be framing a diamond painting I've gotten a ton of questions asking if I frame my diamond paintings when I'm done with them and if so how I frame them I can't say that I frame every diamond painting that I complete uh, because that would just that would be a lot but I do like to frame the paintings uh, that I really like and that I wouldn't mind having um, hanging on the wall somewhere in my house or I'll frame them if I'm gifting them to someone. So today we're actually going to be framing Vera from Diamond Art Club. If you've been following me on any of my other social media, you'll know Vera looks like this. She's a beautiful painting from Diamond Art Club and the original artist is Bailey J. This painting is pretty big. It's a 51 by 71 centimeter or 20 by 28 inches. So she's definitely a big piece. And I'm just going to be framing her using a Walmart frame. Um, it's actually this one. It's a 20 by 28 inch poster frame from their brand Mainstays. So if you're interested in seeing how I go about framing my paintings, keep on watching. Well, hello! <laughs> So right now the first thing that I'm going to do is cut off all of the edges so that I'm only left with the diamonds. I did want to mention that you might get some adhesive on your stickers. Stickers? And that might make it a little bit difficult to cut through, but it's pretty easy to take off, especially if your hands are pretty warm, you can just mold it off. Right, so here you have it the painting is edge free um, a few things that I wanted to mention I did make sure that all of the drills were secure I didn't seal this painting because I knew that this frame would have a plastic sheet to protect it if you plan on getting a frame that's not gonna have that uh, protective sheet I would probably seal it but yeah I just wanted to point that out that it is not sealed and here are all the edges that I cut off. I had put tape around the little extra adhesive that sometimes uh, comes with paintings and I didn't take it off. I just, you know, cut it off. So that wasn't a problem. So now we have our frame. I'm just going to take the plastic off and these little cardboard things. Guys, you know what I just noticed? This frame is actually broken! Oh my gosh. See, maybe don't buy frames from Walmart, or if you do, make sure they're intact. <laughs> I don't think it's too much of a big deal. I think I can still frame it. Um, probably in the future, I'm gonna get a different frame. Uh, but this frame does have these little hinges around the edges, so I'm just going to bend them upwards so that I can take the cardboard piece off. Okay, I finally got the hinges up. They're hard, that like kind of hurt. I definitely had to use scissors to prop them up. I'm going to take the paper off and now we're left with the frame and the plastic sheet. So now I'm just going to grab the painting and place it on the frame. It actually is a perfect fit. Oh my God, this thing, uh, <laughs> my luck. 
And then I'm just gonna put the cardboard backing back on. And I'm making sure to leave uh, that little hook at the top so that I can hang it vertically. And now I'm just gonna put the hinges back down. All right, moment of truth, time to see how it came out. Hey, hey, it looks beautiful. All right, and so now I'm gonna see where I'm gonna hang it. <laughs> so I think I'm going to hang it on this wall. There is the nail. I used to have a clock hanging there, but I really want the painting on this wall. So yeah, I think this is where we're gonna hang it. So, <laughs> when you walk into the spare room, this is what you see. Oh, please don't mind the mess over here. <laughs> but yeah, that is pretty much what it looks like. I feel like it looks a lot smaller in the camera. Like, in person, it's it looks big. <laughs> but yay, she looks so good. Look at her having her moment. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> As you can see, everything looks perfect. And I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but like in her hair, you can kind of see the AB drills really popping off. So I'm super glad about that. But yeah, you look so beautiful. Yay. All right guys, so that is pretty much it. I think Vera turned out really good. Um, I really like the black frame. I don't think I would have um, like any other color with this painting. You can't really tell that it's broken, so that's good. Um, I might just leave it as is until we move eventually and then I'll get a, a really nice frame. But as of right now, I think it looks really good. I hope this helped anyone if, you know, they were wondering how they should go about framing a painting. It's super easy. If you guys have any other questions, comment them down below. Um, I'll try to make a video and answer them. Till next time, guys. Peace. Bye.